epic. It reminded me of the 1985 Acton Hopscotch Battle. Oh, yeah. And we all remember how that ended up. Hell yes, hell yes. Crazy. Hi, welcome to Whiskey and Things, episode six. I'm Nick, and this is Dave. Hi, Nick. Hi, Dave. Yes, talking of scotch, hopscotch, hot scotch, Ooh. hot scotch. This is, an eight, this is an 18 year old Glen Fiddich. Oh, it's good. Uh, and it smells fantastic. Friggin' fantastic. 18 years. 18 1996. Six, I started six, secondary school that year. Yeah. Oh, that's um, Soundgarden Down on the Upside came out. Good album. Good album. I had the t-shirt. No, you didn't. I did have the t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts, Dave, that's what I'm fetching out for you, got on. I know, shameless plug. I have a new t-shirt. Don't know if you can even see it. But uh, yes, it's available. It's on sale. I wish I was Hold Dave Jars. <laughs> I thought you were holding my belly in there. <laughs> From that side, it'll be like... <laughs> you do need to. I know I do need to. So these are available. They're £10 available on my website. I'll put a link down below. But very nice. I hope you like them. Nice. There's only 150 once they're gone, they're gone. It's very fetching. Thanks. Very Thanks. fetching indeed. So today is Valentine's Day. We're filming early. We we're, normally, we're filming early. It's we, Friday. We normally film on Sundays. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm off on my living room tour. Hi, Nick. I love you lots. This is for your private selection. <laughs> 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 Looks like fun. It's a lot of fun. Is there cake? Yeah, there's cake. I, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's brilliant, mate. Like 24, I'm doing over the course of the next eight days. So I, it's a lot of fun. If anyone ever wants I me mean, to come and play in the house, just send me an email. There'll be a link below. There Sweet. will be a link Sweet. below. So yeah, it's Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's we day. have a hot date. We do. I have a hot date with Mr. Dave Giles tonight. I'm taking him to Winchester. Yeah. Uh, in Hampshire, we're going to go and watch uh, Frank Turner's homecoming gig. Yeah. All we ever do is talk about Frank Turner. I saw oh, him on Wednesday at the O2. It was great. All we ever do. Yeah. All right. Just talk I some love the man. I love yeah. him. I love him. Well, good cause, mate. Good oh, cause. On, he's, on, he's anyway, it's Valentine's Day, and talking about romance, yeah. we had a bit of a uh, backlash from last oh, yeah. week's um, little chat we had. So if you if you watched last week's episode, you will know that me and Nick. Uh, we're both chatting to the same chatting to lady. the same girl without realising it, or pining after the same girl. Sarah Grace. And we sold the story. Mm. Well, um, well, she was watching, apparently. Yeah, she wasn't very happy. Guys, I can't believe you told that story. I mean, I'm not angry. I'm just I'm disappointed. So how's Danny doing? He's alright. He's alright. Good, good. I went to cinema this week. I saw I saw three films. They've all been hotly built up. Frozen, which was oh, I, I, hands up. Which one's that? It's the animated new Disney animated one. I, oh okay, carrot nose dude. Yeah. Woo! Oh, it, I wish it was more about him. It wasn't oh, enough really? about him. Yeah, it was a weird story. Anyway, songs weren't good enough in my opinion. Anyway, that's that's nothing. I went to see The Wolf of Wall Street. Personally, I'm fed up with song, uh, songs. I'm fed up with films that glorify earning a load of money, spending it all on drugs and losing everything. There's been too many films like that. We don't need another one. Then I went to watch The Dallas Buyers Club and that is my film of the week. Phenomenal film. It's about a guy who gets HIV in the 80s. He's told he has 30 days to live. And this in the 80s, getting HIV, they didn't know what they were doing with it. There was that was pretty much a death sentence. Yeah. So it's about his struggle and, and what happened and how this one guy's plight changed the treatment of drugs. Amazing, wow. amazing, Jack very Matthews emotional. Is that, isn't he? Yeah. And, he's awesome. and Matthew McConaughey, both of them had to lose so much weight for for it. They he deserved gets, yeah. their Oscar nominations. I don't know when the Oscars is, but they deserve those nominations. It's brilliant. Anyway, go and check it out. Dallas Buyers Club. So did you get your uh, shot of the week, Nick? Of course I did, Dave. Of course I did. Okay, I'm interested. Man. What was it again? Mark Hilton yes. wanted me to go out and photograph pigeons, or pigeon, singular, doing something touristy. Very nice. Here's me out and about getting it. Bloody pigeons. I kind of can't imagine you, can you actually like chasing after pillow, p- pillows. Pillows? <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine you chasing after pillows or pigeons. That's well, obviously whole... I was having a lot of fun there. And um, <laughs> yeah, so here's the actual shot. I don't think you've done it. There yet. it is. No, there it is. I enjoy- 
That's a great I don't picture. even know what's going on. I loved it. That's a great picture. If that's not a pigeon or many pigeons doing things touristy, <laughs> I don't know what is. All right, I know it's I've Friday, it. but don't lie. There's no need to lie, Nick. There's no would need this to... lie? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it would. No, I never, 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 never want to go up. Anyway, what's your challenge for next week? <laughs> A challenge for next week yes. comes from Rosie Dunnell. I like Rosie. And she would like me to basically photograph the brightest thing I can find. Oh, that's got room for uh, that's a lot of room. manipulation. Yeah, but then I thought finding a million of something would have lots of space, but that, I found <laughs> that really hard, to be honest. But yes, enjoying uh, thinking about that one. Okay, good. Looking forward to it. So yeah, we're going to go off and see Frank Turner. And uh, we hope you have had a great Valentine's Day. If you're in a relationship, I hope you treated well, your not, partner if you're not, well. You if you're single surprises. like me and, me and Nick, then you know, hope you found comfort in your friends at this <laughs> difficult time. <laughs> and uh, we, we'll see you um, next week. So, cheers! cheers. I'm later. Nick, this is Dave. <laughs> Please drop Chris Vincent Lee. Get it wrong, well, God, I don't drink, don't drink at all. <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh. Buy it now. Buy it now.